No, I never won. Like, throughout my high school career, man, you just keep switching from number just one. Just number one recruit in the country? Yes. And this was 2002, 2003? Yeah, just 04, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, but did you ever go head-to-head -head with him at any tournaments? We supposed to play against each other in this tournament in Las Vegas called um, Adidas Big Time, but he wound up breaking his arm. And we didn't um, wind up going against each other. No, uh, you, maybe you have to get in touch with them and say, you know what, in my backyard we need a little one-on-one -on -one or something, you know? Finally get that going. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, a, actually, I'm trying to see him in the next year or two. See him in the next year yeah. or two? That, yeah, that's the good spirit. Well, well, Coach Kevin Waters was was telling me that you had a little matchup up in Boston with, with somebody named Glenn Big Baby Davis. How'd that go? Actually, man, um, Glenn, we... We um we was going at each other because I um, previously played against him in high school mm -hmm. AAU, so I was very familiar with playing against him. And him being in the NBA and me not being there yet, so it's like that just motivated me just to go hard at him. And actually, we just was both competitive with each other, and yeah. we just was going in at each other. And it was oh, a great wow. game. Hey, and Jason, we were, we were talking a little during the break how how you've gone up against. Kevin Durant, you were on the Kansas State team right before Michael Beasley, but you played with Bill Walker, and and from every the coaches I've played and the or coaches I've talked to and the players I've talked to that have gone up against Kevin Durant or have talked to him just say he's incredible on the court. What was your experience uh, playing on the same court as Kevin Durant? Well, playing with Kevin, like I played him back in high school too, and everything in Hawaii, and but um, when he was at Texas, I was at K State. He's, he's long, he's quick, he can shoot. He scored th 32 points against us, but we still but we still got that win by one win. point. That's all by that matters. By one point at Texas, too. So. Ooh, what was it like playing there? The place was enormous. Like, it was like lightning, just like thunder everywhere, man. Like Gosh, um, funny enough, he's playing for the thunder, so that kind of works oh. out, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done there. And, and so you played at Kansas State for one year, you moved on, you played in Ireland for a little bit, and, and you, you haven't, have you trained in the last eight months? Not really, like, it's been a while since I've worked out, but I can tell I'm getting back into shape and everything, like, just day by day working out with Coach Waters up over there at Thornton Park and everything. Just working out every day, I'm starting to feel it. So. Every morning, y'all shooting around, lifting. What what all's in, involved in the workout? Well, in the workout, we just uh, like we get there at ten o'clock in the morning, stretch out, and we just do drills. We do basketball drills, like with about five other players that are usually there. So. Mm -hmm. And Jermaine, you you go down there as well every morning at ten a.m. Yes, sir. And so this this is Monday through Friday. Yes. Wow, that that's a lot. Man, maybe I can join you one morning. Just see how I do, you know, a little bit. The three cone drill. What what are we talking about? Oh, well, first we do the first the first drill. We usually do is the tip drill. Tap it off the arm backboard ten times. Run to the other side of the court. Tap it on the backboard ten times. Run back down. See us big man. We got dunk it every time. Uh, so dunk it. Maybe dunk you can it. just lift me up and then I can dunk. Yeah, how about I mean, that? yeah. Me and him will just throw you up. Okay, perfect. That? Perfect. Okay, perfect. okay awesome. excellent. And then we just run back down. We dunk it again. We got to come back down and make a jump shot, run back down, make another jump shot. And that's the end of the drill. And just more and more. How long is a workout? A couple hours? Uh, for, well, right now it's, it's like an hour, but if you want to go more, you can. Okay. So. Just just what you feel at that exact time. Yeah. We're, we're joined by Jason Bennett and Jermaine Bell. The, the two newest signees are signing tonight down at City Hall Pub, 4 until 7 p.m., open to the public, come and join them for a free appetizer buffet, drinks, come and meet the players, get autographs, take your photos with them, but also as well, if you can't make it, go to abajax.com for any ticket or team information, and, and you can get all the information about these guys. First game, December 4th, down at the Veterans Memorial Arena. And, and Jermaine, you, you know, you've played for a long, long time. Do you have any personal goals or expectations going into the season? Actually, yes. Um, my goal is to, like I said, bring a championship to Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And my goal for next season is to be on somebody NBA team. Be on an NBA roster. Yes. Now, what, what about just for you personally? Do you want to maybe get better at, at jump shooting? You say you're an all-around player. Is there something in your game, maybe footwork or speed or agility, that needs a little extra oomph? Only thing I can say that I might need to work on is me getting in shape. 
get in shape a little yes. bit. J just running and lifting. Yeah, running. And I need to get a little stronger. A little stronger. Well, well, J Jermaine. I mean, what was it? It the, the combine where Kevin Durant put up 185 once uh, on the bench. So, so you know, it, it's not always necessary to bench a lot just yeah. to you know let you know. Tone it up to get a little stronger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just tone it up. You know, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's I like that idea right there. I think I need to tone it up too. I'll I'll be down there one morning for sure. Y'all can lift me up and I can dunk. I, I like that idea. And, and Jason, what what is it like playing somebody that's practically your size? Because I'm sure since fifth sixth grade you've been one of the tallest. It, it's seven foot four now. You're a grown man, and, and now you play, you're going to be playing with Jermaine Bell, who's seven foot. Is that a little weird seeing somebody that you can talk eye to eye with? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I've never played with a seven foot before so like it's going to be kind of hard getting used to it at first mm -hmm. but I'm sure we'll get it down but um yeah like when I was in seventh grade playing ball on the middle school team uh the tallest guy was probably about five feet tall maybe wow and I was about six eight in seventh Ooh. grade <laughs> and so when the ref came up to do jump ball he just tossed it up and didn't even <laughs> jump for it um I had the most blocks that game I had 31 blocks so, what I, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. Have you ever lost a jump ball? I have actually. You have. I have. Who, who'd you lose it to? I can't remember exactly who I lost it to. That's something you need to remember. I, I think I think it was one of our rival teams, though. Like you know how when you go to their place, the mm -hmm. refs are usually more towards them and everything. Of course. So I think it was against Providence. Providence. Okay. Uh, high school. Yeah. Huge matchup, e oh, even yeah. nowadays. And like I asked Jermaine, do you have any personal goals or expectations for this season? Uh, I just want to make it to the next level. I want to get a championship, just like Jermaine said. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I want to make it to the next level, and I want to be able to support me and my future family. I, like I said, I got my fiance here with me, so. Great, yeah. great. And, and do you feel like there's one part of your game that needs work? You're, you're a shot blocker at heart, but is there something that you need to work on? Maybe a jump shot or stepping out and taking a six-footer? Probably my jump shot, but I really just need to work on offense all around. But I would like to get stronger, too. Like I said, I weigh about 290, 295 right now. I get down to 275, 280. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I would like to work on my offense. So. And, and Jermaine, what's it like playing with, with Jason, who's seven foot four, And I'm sure you, you the same thing. You've been one of the tallest people ever since probably middle school or high school. Is, is that a little weird, walking around with this guy and being like, oh, you know what, we're both seven-footers? Yeah, actually, it is because I have, I have, played, it, I have played with other seven-footers. I've never played with another seven-foot seven guy. Mm -hmm. I'm, so I'm really looking forward to playing with him. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm just very happy that I got a guy on my team that's 7-4. I think people are looking forward to seeing y'all as well. I mean, first game, December 4th. Go to abajax.com for ticket and team information. If you want to meet Jermaine Bell, if you want to meet Jason Bennett, you can do it tonight at City Hall Pub, 4 until 7 p.m. They'll be officially signing between 4.45 and 5 o'clock. Free appetizer buffet and drinks. and. And Jermaine and Jason, thanks so much for joining me today on Miller All Sports. Thank you. All right. Y'all take care. I'll see y'all tonight. You've right, been listening to Miller on Sports right here on Talk Radio 600 WBOB. Weekdays, 1 until 2 p.m. If you want to find me Monday and Tuesday, I broadcast live from City Hall Pub, 1 until 2 p.m. Come and find me. We'll talk. We'll hang out. Also, find me on Twitter, on Facebook, or on YouTube at Miller on Sports. More of Talk Radio 600, WBOB.